hello everyone so today what I'm going to cover is this uh, last time I implemented the enemy character can shoot arrows at me but his uh, aiming was off he was not uh, correctly uh, aiming at the target character so in this case the player character but now you can see his aiming is correct he rotates towards the targeting character like this okay that's what I'm going to cover today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right so this is what our AI character do at the moment when he see us he just uh, start shooting arrows at me like this and his direction is off as you can see the arrow comes to me but still he's not looking at me so that's a problem so how can I solve it and if you remember when I do that for the player character I used this uh, upper body rotation part and I used this upper body rotation alpha and upper body rotation variables to control it and I set the upper body rotation through this uh, event and if I show you where I, did, I have used it it's here in the CH player I calculate the upper body rotation in the tick like this and here I get the actor rotation and I calculate the upper body rotation using the control rotation so let's see I think uh, we can let me open the character human function first and here I'll define a new function called calculate no set upper body rotation compile right now uh, let me check if I can copy this part to this function Okay, it seems I can. Oh no, I don't think it would work because we have a do once node as well. Yeah, so therefore I delete this one. And uh, create a event let me collapse these first a custom event set set our body rotation I'll collapse this part first so and let's paste it here yep 
yeah i think everything is okay wrong okay so i need to connect this branch like this as seen here yeah so if you don't remember how did I implemented this function you can refer to that previous video that means this one episode 172 bow and arrow turn around while aiming welcome back so yeah let's compile this and check if I got any errors no I think everything is fine okay now in the event graph in the tick where's the tick yeah here I'll call this set upper body rotation and this will happen only if where did I only if I have equipped the bow and here in the tick of the player character I'll disable this one so I can see if anything is wrong <gasps> right everything is fine works in the way it's supposed to work okay now let's see what happens when the enemy equip the bow and he still not rotating towards the locked enemy so to fix that I'll do a simple modification like this here when I get the pitch and your let me disconnect them for a moment right now this is this comes from the control rotation and I'll let me add a comment pitch yo So I'll disconnect this for now and recombine. So get control rotation is one option and the other option is find look at rotation and the start point is get actor location the location of the current actor and the target location is uh, location of the locked enemy get actor location and I should select this one or this one only if I have a locked enemy so we can check this one like this is valid now let's do it 
like this no that wouldn't be let's try this way first if it throws any errors i'll try the other way is valid and if it is true it should return this if it is false it should return this and then I'll break this one you should be connected here and pitch should be connected here okay let's see what happens now No, still not working. Right. And let's see what happened to the player. Player aiming is also off now. And also it throws an error. And it should be access none. Try to read property locked enemy. Alright, so what I try to do here is not working. Oh wait, 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 wait. I should return this one if it is false and I should return this one if it is true. Okay. Let's quickly give it a try. Okay, player for the player it works fine but still we get this access none trying to read property error all right so if that's the case i'll do this branch oh not a branch is valid if the locked enemy is valid I can no let me break these values and I'll promote collapse this door function like this get target or rotation and it should output let me recombine them let's add a return node and it should output this rotation and yeah I'll do it like this Split and connect pitch here and your here. Now here I'll do two return nodes like this. Let's add a is valid node here. And if this one is valid, I'll return this. Otherwise, well, if this, if that one is valid, I can just return this one. Otherwise, I'll return this. 
so I don't need this part now but uh, we would have some complication my player character will automatically aim to the locked enemy if I lock onto a character but let's deal with that later and let's see how it looks <gasps> for the player it works fine but for the enemy I think he does rotate to me but uh, there's a little problem there is a little offset to his rotation yeah I know what what's going on that's because I have added some offset to this target rotation yeah this one I added this because for the player in order to align the target direction with the camera reticle I had to add this offset so I can just ignore this well I should be able to ignore this for the enemy character so it will perfectly look at me so therefore I'll promote this one to a variable I'll call it aim aim in your offset and the default value should be the value should be 0 for the human character but for the player character it should be 30 let me fix it yeah I need to make it 30 and I'll put this under well I don't have a category for bow and arrow that's all right compile and let's see how it looks now okay now he's looking at me correctly yeah that's correct now his rotation is all right okay that's all I want to cover for today and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and also um, I will improve my NPC AI behavior next time so that when the enemy is closer to the player he will do melee attacks when the enemy is in some distance he will start shooting arrows while moving to the player so I will do that behavior it's like the way it happens in Assassin's Creed Odyssey so I'll try to replicate that behavior here in upcoming episodes and if you have any problems please let me know in the comment section and also feel free to suggest future topics that you want me to cover and yeah see you in the next episode goodbye